A cool thing about Lashify is that you can use our lashes to elongate your eye, to open your eye. You can literally alter your eye shape with just lashes. So today, I'm gonna use lashes to create this elongated winged lash look. So with any Lashify application, you always wanna start by prepping your lash. I'm going to use our pre-cleanse. So I'm just dipping a clean disposable spoolie in and I'm gonna brush this through my natural lashes. This is gonna make sure that we're removing any oils because remember, oil is gonna break apart the bond. So we wanna make sure our lashes are free of oil. Now I'm gonna take the blow tool and I wanna make sure that I'm just pushing some air onto my lashes so that they're completely dry. Before any application, you wanna make sure that you have clean, dry lashes. So we're just gonna do this for about 10 seconds. So on this eye, I chose to use our Plushy Tame Gossamer Lash Style because the Plushy Tames have a really soft curl and when creating a wing or trying to elongate the eye, you wanna have something that is gonna have a flatter curl because it's gonna help create that elongated look. We are going to do a thin coat of our Black Whisper Light. For me, I always like to apply Black Whisper Light through my natural lash as my first layer of bond always. My natural lashes are not black, so brushing the black through makes it appear black so that once we look at our lash cleavage from the top, our lashes and our natural lashes blend seamlessly. So we're gonna brush it through and then I'm gonna take the blow tool and we need to make sure that we blow for about 30 seconds so that it gets nice and tacky again. I've applied a little bit of our Clear Whisper Light onto the spine of my gossamer. I put it on there, it started out white and it's already starting to go clear so I know it's tacky and it's ready to apply. So I like to, when creating this elongated map, I like to start in my inner corner because I'm gonna end up stacking once I get to the outer corner. So I've got a plushy tame in the length of eight millimeter and I'm gonna angle it to match that curve of my eye and I'm gonna go ahead and place that one to two millimeters above the waterline and it should just stick right on there. If it doesn't stick, you're just gonna wait a little bit longer. It just means it's not tacky yet. Now I'm gonna come in with another Plushy Tame 8. So I'm gonna come in and I'm only gonna overlap it like one or two fibers because I don't wanna build up too much volume until we get to the end. Now to create the illusion of this elongated eye, we're gonna start moving up in length. So now I'm gonna apply a 10 millimeter, still in Plushy Tame, still overlapping slightly and we are building this beautiful map. I'm gonna fuse it down a little bit. So now we're gonna apply a 12 millimeter, but look at the difference already. Look how it's starting to really add volume. I'm gonna overlap just a little bit. I like to hold my gossamer on there for a second and then release. That way I know it's got time to really stick onto the natural lash. Another 12 millimeter, overlapping again holding and then release. Our last one that we're gonna apply for our base layer is gonna be a Plushy Tame in 14 millimeter. I'm gonna apply it and instead of following the curve of my eye anymore, now I'm gonna angle the lash a little bit upward. This is gonna help to create that elongated shape and it's gonna give you some really beautiful lift to your natural eye shape. I'm also leaving out like two or three of my natural hairs on the end because this is gonna help with longevity. I like to take my blow tool before I fuse and I'm just gonna blow the lashes for about 10 seconds. This is just gonna make sure that everything's tacky so when I fuse down, we don't lose this really nice placement that we've created. So we're gonna come in, give it a few more blows and then I'm gonna come in and do a full fuse Pressing down onto the spines, our plushy tame gossamer lash has the thinnest spines. They are like seamless, they blend all together. I'm gonna use our A pluses in the lengths of 14 and 16 millimeters so I can stack them onto the ends. It's gonna add a little bit more volume and a little bit more length. I'm applying some clear whisper light onto the spine and because I'm gonna do this cool technique, I'm also gonna apply a little bit further above the spine. Normally when I stack, I would come in and line up my spines side by side so that they're kind of parallel to each other. Instead, I'm gonna turn my lash and I'm gonna angle it so that this bottom part of the gossamer hits the spine, sticks on there, and this is going to create more of a longer eye. 
The last gossamer lash I'm applying is an A plus 14 millimeter. I'm gonna go inside next to that 16 millimeter and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna angle the lash, placing the spine on there. The cool thing about stacking with these pluses is they literally disappear and melt into your base layer. Now we have the 14 millimeter angled on there as well as the 16 millimeter and we have elongated the eye using two lash styles, that's it. I'm gonna do some reverse fusing. This is making sure that the two gossamers we stacked on top are fused down nicely to that base layer. I can come in one more time as well and give it one more full fuse because why not? And then, Look at that. We have elongated my natural eyes for a fun cat eye look using our plushy tame and our A plus lashes. The beauty of Lashify, again, is that you can alter your natural eye shape. You can use that fun trick to angle the lash and create this long, beautiful lash map.